Sally in my cup, mix with that wine, Sally in my blunt, that's your Zodiac fine, I don't give a fuck, if you rep them dollar signs, go and put them up. Hey, this your boy Blocks on here with my main man Nori, me and Nori go back, bro. Yes sir, yes sir, nice to see my you dude, again. good nice to see you, see you sir. Yo, I remember sitting in the listening session for the CNN album, mm -hmm. and he was already talking about the solo album. Right. And everything. Like, I'm gonna do the solo album. Right. And uh, now it's finally, finally here. Like, what was it like working on this album and, like, and crafting it? Um, technically, this is my first um, solo album since the, since I left Def Jam. Technically, and um, that's why I took probably you know a lot of people might say six years, but um, I had I kept changing the uh, title. Like at first, it was called. Uh, NRE part two, then it was called Born Again, then it was called Super Thug, and then I just, uh, I wanted I wanted to have a humbling title because the music that I started to make was so aggressive. Like a lot of people they say to me, they say, Yo, you're an OG, you're a legend, how could you be a student? And it's simple because I'm still learning, you know what I'm saying? And But when you listen to the music, you're gonna be like, damn, it, he's more teaching. Like when you hear the joints with like me and Lars Professor, or the joints with me and, uh, uh, the me and Traj and Havoc joint, Camouflage Unicorns, or you know, the me and Pete Rock joint, or even the Faces of Death joint, you could, you could tell that I'm showing the new generation that that's how hip hop sounded when I was coming up. Yeah. So I'm teaching it in that respect, but um, I wanted to have a humbling time. Um, but you got that, that, my joint, and I tweeted about it the other day, mm -hmm. is uh, that face of the death, that's so New York right there. Like, yeah. that's real New York. It reminds me of, uh, was that Band From TV? Yeah. yeah, I wanted to recreate Band From TV without calling it Band From TV because I didn't want to, like I said, this, this, gener this album was made for my generation but it was also made not to ignore this new generation. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people, that's what, that's what makes old people old, is people who sit around and reminisce about how shit was then, and how, you know, you go, I remember when a dime bag was a dime. Like, we don't really <laughs> care, we don't really care about that. Like, so, I, but I, what I wanted to do was create the same feeling as Bad From TV without calling it a part two, without it being a part two, yeah. and it, it being its own monster, you know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's the reason why, um, actually, Jaleel Beats produced it. A lot of people were getting it wrong and saying Swiss produced it, Swiss didn't produce it. Swiss is on the record, but um, he, he didn't produce it. Fast car, top down. Do she know how I like it? Top down, red top, red bottoms. What up with Ching Bing? The fans try to ride him. New York is making a comeback. Like, mm -hmm. New York never really fell off, but New York right. is making a comeback. You got French Montana, you got yeah. ASAP, and Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about it? you feel like New York's gonna get a resurrection, per se? I, I feel like, um, I feel like our biggest quality for us not to be back in the game, but for us is to respect each other. Like, one of the biggest things that I realized, you know, um, following rock and roll and following jazz and you know, following, you know, different genres of music is like, you know, you'll have two or three artists go out on tour in hip hop and jazz and rock and roll. They be, it be 20 acts on a fucking bill. Like they do a fucking equivalent to a summer jam on a tour every single night. And hip hop, we just don't do that. It's like, yo, blog, me and you are cool. You want to go on tour? But we don't say, yo, let's. Let's go get homie from over there and homie from over there. And you know what? Maybe we could get, you know, I think that's 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 the thing is like, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody's never actually seen a, a New York tour. Nobody's never yeah. seen a Queens tour, that'd a be, Brooklyn tour. So you know what I'm saying? Like people just got to put their thing aside. And if we start to show more unity, um, cause that's really what, what killed it is the South. Not that they was making phenomenal music, although they were. But um, that's not the point why they was on top. The point that they was on top is that Southern hospitality actually is a real thing. One, nigga, since day one, just ask. G-Shock watch flooded with the black diamonds. Louboutins with the spikes is for weirdos. I'm a hood nigga. I don't wear those. What was it like when you called Wayne uh, to get on She Trot? Uh, it, it was, it, Wayne is my man, man. Like, um, like I said, I, I've been working with Lil Wayne since 1999, since Melvin Flynn album. I had the whole... <coughs> cash money on on a, a, a cut. I had just recently uh, worked with him on a joint, me, him, and Pharrell called Finito. And you know Wayne was clear that that was for my mixtape. It wasn't you know a real album joint. So uh, 
I told him, I said, yo, it's time for the album. So uh, he was like, send it. You know what I'm saying? Wayne, pause. Wayne is the easiest dude to work with. So I sent it, and, you know, he, t he, he called me. Oh, well, I spoke to his people, and it, what he said was some shit, but I can't, I can't remember. <laughs> it was some real funny shit, you know what I mean? But he's, he's, he's a student of the game. Yeah. Like, Wayne... Like Wayne knows hip hop. Like people like look at him, and you know he got him in the, the the funny pants or whatever. Or he's, but he's one hundred percent pure hip hop. Like when you sit down and have a conversation with him, and the shit that he listen to, and you know he's really playing UGK. Like you like yo, would you listen? To him? I'm, he's really listening to UGK. Like for the South, that's a equivalent to being MOP or Mob Deep or Wu Tang, and like. To see how much he's a student of the game, it always shocks me. Hang Hang said, Grizz, your boy NRE, keeping the percolator, percolator around the corner for the nine. I mean, you heard, keeping the fire hydrant on the water under the bridge, and that equals figure smell that. You feel me? It's going down global grind, you know what I mean? My boy Blockzilla, you know what I'm saying? You know, he runs this shit. Russ, you got the best dude in the world running it. It's going down global grind, N-O-R-E, Bangata, B-A-P-I, it's going down student of the game. Make sure you get it before you split it, you know what I mean? You gotta get it before you hit it, you understand what I'm saying? N-O-R-E, Bangata.